This is the artist Mary Blair. She was an American artist, animator, and designer. She mostly worked with producing art and animation for the Walt Disney Company. So you might recognize some of her artwork or it might look familiar because it was in such films as Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Song of the South, and Cinderella. This project is the Mary Belair project. So her paintings were very whimsical because she did a lot of things for Disney. So for my castle that I made, I used um, cold colors. You'll get to pick cold colors and warm colors. I did use a warm color for the sun though. So to start your castle, I would get a ruler or something that has a straight edge. Could be a box of markers, could be a book, anything it is. And we're just gonna start with a couple of rectangles at different heights. Think about what you want your castle to look like. There's gonna be a couple towers. There's going to be shorter areas, taller areas. So I fit about four rectangles for my castle. You can have more, you can have less. It is all up to you. Um, I like this rectangle as having my door. So on this door, I just did two big curved lines. Maybe this one, I want the doors to open a little differently. I'm gonna add details to the top. And I have, and it works best if you probably use your ruler for it. That's what I did for my first one, adding squares. Let's see how many different shapes you can sneak into here. And we're going to make the top of all of our towers. However you want, and you can look at some of the other ideas from Mary Blair in the previous part of the video. Add some triangles. Maybe add some things on top of there. Have some flags. It is all up to you. So once we have the top of our building or our castle, I'm going to start to separate these rectangles with my ruler. Broke this one up into three different parts. Um, for this big one, on mine I just did a big circle and then broke it in half. It's up to you again if you want to split it up or how you want to split it up. Split my third one, and then my tallest one. So now I have all these sections that I could put a d bunch of different patterns and designs and shapes into. Maybe in this first one, you're gonna have a couple, or split that into a triangle. This one, I could do some diagonal lines, maybe some semicircles. We have the smaller door here. It's all about shapes and patterns when we get there. So add what you want to your castle first, and then we're going to go in and add some detail and some colors.
Right now that I've finished my designs, you can use a marker to trace everything. Um, you can use warm colors like this one. You can use crayons, color pencils. I'm going to use warm colors since I did cool colors. So if I have different shades of things, and I start with an orange, I think orange would look nice there. And I'll probably go back at the end and trace everything with a black marker. But I want to space these out so I'm not coloring the whole thing in orange and just find different shapes. 